So to solve this, I'm going to show you a little bit of a shortcut here. So we have two in front, and this log is really log base 10. Okay, so when, when there's no 10, it's log base 10. And then we have 100 to the negative third. I'm going to make this a little bit easier by writing 100 as 10 squared, okay? And then it's that value to the negative third. So we're going to write it like this. I'm going to show you why this is. We can take a little shortcut. So then we can simplify by doing multiplying those exponents. So we have 2 log base 10 times 10 to the negative 6. So the reason why this is cool is because, remember, log base 10 of something is really asking the question, 10 to what power equals this? So it's saying 10 to what power equals 10 to the negative 6? Well, of course, it's negative 6. So this is a nice thing that we can simplify right off the bat. That just becomes negative 6. Then we have 2 times negative 6 equals negative 12. So that's the value. Now, the other way you can think about this is again, we can just set this equal to a, a variable, divide by two, right, to get rid of that two, and, and then follow that same protocol that we did before. This would say, to convert it to exponential, 10 to the x over two equals 100 to the negative third. And then we'd go down that same path. T 100 is really 10 squared, so this is 10 squared to the negative third, which is 10 to the negative six equals 10 to the x over two. Then you set x over 2 equal to negative 6, and you see you'll still end up with that same value of negative 12. That's two ways to do it. Done.